Hello, hello. Welcome to Two Tutorial Tuesday. I'm Amy with Seriously Sweet and Cookie Snack Attack. How are you guys doing? Allison, your cutters are still packed away? I don't think I realized that. You better go box diving and find those cutters. Hey, you guys, how are you? It is Two Tutorial Tuesday. Can you believe it? And it's noon. And I'm sorry I was a few minutes late, but I did a little upgrade so that hopefully... Um, it'll make our live stream a little bit smoother here in just a second. And we're just going to do something fun and summary in just a minute. I'm not going to keep you too long today because we have a lot to talk about and a lot to do tonight. All right, let's go ahead and take this off. Oh, by the way, though, if you haven't signed up for the live stream text alerts, please do that. We can house a few more people. They do maintenance every once in a while. And so people that have dropped off the list, they tell me an open number, hey, that I can add back. So we have some spots open where I can stay in the same plan for the same amount that I pay every month. So I can add like 20 more people right now without going up into the next category. So if you would like to join in on that and get alerts before our live streams, you can text the word live stream all capital letters, all one word to 540-870-0726. We'll get you on that. We'll get you out alerts between the hours of 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time anytime I go live, like even if I'm just messing around with something, okay? So guys, I just want to know <clears throat> how many of you that are watching right now are in the monthly tutorial group for the gnomes and florals and did you love your March gnome? Are you loving him? Because I'm seeing lots of pictures coming in and they look pretty fantastic. So let me know over in comments. We'll go back to that in just a second. Please don't forget the cookie-a-thon is right around the corner. It's March 7th. All right, I'm going to be on on April 1st and I will start posting my time shortly so you guys can plan for it. I'm going to be doing that super cute b scap cookie that you see there that's hollow in the middle. So you can use it as a shaker. You can put one of those little wooden mallets if you want to gift it to somebody for Easter. Um, you can give them a little wooden mallet so the kids can break into it. But the entire thing is edible, made of cookies and you can do your moldable royal icing, modeling, chocolate, or fondant to make those beautiful flowers. But that is only available. The information for that is only available through Cookie-a-thon for one full year. I can't teach that again in another class until my year is up. So you guys got to grab that. If you're doing your extended access pass, I'd love it if you'd sign up through me. It gives us a little bit of commission money and it helps pay for the live streaming. So that I would super, super appreciate that. Let's just make sure this is right. So, oh, and I'm um, I'm also going to be sponsoring Cookie-a-thon. So there'll be a giveaway for you guys. Um, something they're using, I guess, for drawing a raffle. I'm not sure, but something. So anyway, we're working on that today to finish that up. Don't forget, Cookie Con is coming up in Ohio, Sandusky, Ohio. And I'm going to be teaching this class, which is Be the Sparkle. And then my afternoon class on Tuesday is XOXO, which is this fashion class. They both coordinate. So if you end up taking both classes, all your pieces can be shadow boxed together. And so psyched about this. There's so many things in this class that I just can't wait to show you. All right. So let's go over here to comment, say hello to a few people. And then I have some information for you for tonight. Okay. It's important that you tune in tonight. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Actually, it's tomorrow night. <laughs> It's, tonight is important, too, because we're going to do two Tutorial Tuesday Part 2, but tomorrow night on Wacky Wild Card, it's Wild Card Wednesday, Wild Card Wednesday. I need you to tune in tomorrow night. So I'm going to give you all that info here in a second. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? I hope your week is going well. Um, things at the Hicks household are settling into a little routine. There's still a lot of upheaval, but we've got so cute, right? Um, we've got a lot going on, but it's starting to fall into place. So prayers appreciated. Keep sending them this way. Things are going in our direction and I think it's going to work out for everybody. Hey, that's what we're going to talk about for tomorrow night. So stay with me. Don't jump off the live stream just yet. I'm going to give you all the info stuff first. Love the March gnome. His little beard's so cute, isn't it? If you took my Easter class, oh, remind me to tell you about my upcoming class too. I have a pre-recorded class that's going to be releasing. I want to tell you all about that. Um, but if you took my 
Easter class, intermediate Easter class last year, we did a very similar technique on our sheep. So if you were in that class, you're ahead, Sharon, Sharon road trip, road trip, Sharon, Allison, Miss Pamela, all of my Virginia pals, a Bucky's at I-64. Seriously, are you kidding me? We'll meet up there and have lunch. I don't know how long that thing's going to take to be built. If anyone knows, let me know. Apparently it was on the news last night. We're going to have a Bucky's in Virginia. Could I be any happier? Yes, there are a few other things in my life that I would like to work out that would make me even happier. But with regard to Bucky's, one in Virginia, yeah. Come on, Bucky's. I'll even make a Bucky's cookie if you guys, someone tell them about us. Let's make a Bucky's cookie online with them. Wouldn't that be so much fun? Whoopee! Hello, hello. Hi, Maxine. Oh, and you guys, thank you so much for everybody. Thank you, Kim, for signing up through me. That helps pay for the live streaming. We can keep going and add some more nights. And I've got some cool stuff coming up that over the next couple of months, after we make a few shifts in our family life, um, it's going to can go back to the list of things we wanted to do for two tutorial Tuesday and in the cookie snack attack group. So I can get back on the growth plan for this year. Woo! You can't get your fondant or get it elastic for my cookies. I'm just shadow boxing ones. I'm keeping, I just use Wilton. It dries out really hard and it doesn't come off the pieces. It adheres really well. Sweet Sally from Florida. How are you? My friends? I love my scissors. I'll put a link up for you guys. Sally sent me a gift over Christmas and it was these beautiful scissors. They're crafting scissors. Um, Karen, tell them what the, um, last name is on this. I think it's Karen K. Buckley, but they're crafting scissors, but they're super sharp. These are the best because I can do those little, it's a large pair of scissors. So it's easier for my hand, but I can do little teeny cuts when I want to custom cut my tipless piping bags. So instead of trying to get my fingers in those little teeny scissors and then my hand cramping up, it's fabulous. Love them, Sally. Think of you every time I use them. Hello, hello. How are you? Yes, getting better. Getting better. We're heading in that direction. What? See, Laura, you're going to need to meet up with your crew and have a road trip, have lunch, go shopping, hang out, do all the stuff, get the t-shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Jean. I appreciate it, you guys. Good morning, Dee Dee. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? Okay. I want to say a special shout out. I don't think they're on here. Julie probably has a client and um, I have not seen Becky pop up yet, but Julie was the first person to turn in her Easter collaboration piece. If you were approved to participate in that collaboration, that group is now shut. We can't take any more people because we're way above the initial amount of people we were supposed to have, but there was so much interest. We opened it up. We'll be going up to 40 people. Um, we're going to split it up into 40, uh, 40. Ah, we're going to split it up into four different displays of 10 when we do it instead of the initial offering that was going to be 16, but go ahead and get your submissions in as soon as possible. So Julie was first, Becky was right behind her. Go look at the albums in the 2023 Easter collaboration. If you're in the group and you'll see what they're already turning in. They're absolutely fabulous. The rest of you that didn't make it to the group this time, it is a private group. So you won't be able to see those albums, but you will be able to see the final collaboration when everything is put together. We'll bring it over into Cookie Snack Attack because we're going to highlight each of those artists and their businesses and the cookie that they created for the collaboration. Okay. I promise next time I'll try to get an admin assistant to help me. Um, I wasn't prepared for that this time. I actually didn't think we'd have this many people that wanted to be participate. So I was super, super excited. You made me really happy. Made my teacher heart just flutter. Um, but I'll try to get some help for the things that we have to do in order to do the big collaboration piece. Okay. So I promise I'll do another one, hopefully over the summer. So excited. And my cutter will be here hopefully today or tomorrow, what I'm using. And my cutter is, um, I'm not going to tell you, I'm just going to tell you it's a very special cutter that I'm using. Super cute cutter. Um, maybe I'll tell you this. It's a copper cutter. I'm sure you can figure that out. <laughs> 
So we'll talk about that later. But if you're in the Easter collaboration, go ahead and pop on over there and start looking at that. All right, class coming. It's going to be a pre recorded intermediate level class. We're going to release the class. I'm going to release the class on um, probably it's going to release. The class will release on Friday the 10th. What that means, how we're going to do this one, because it's not a live class, it's going to be pre recorded. Each of the cookies individually recorded, separate recordings. So you can just do the ones that you want. Um, I'm going to release it for sale on Friday the 10th in the evening so that I can sit there and watch the computer because my husband will be home at night. So we'll have two people in the house with my mom in case she needs anything. And because I need to watch the um, the website when I release something just to make sure nobody gets jammed up. So we're going to release the class on Friday. As soon as you purchase the class, you'll be admitted to the class Facebook group and you'll have access to the supply list. The pre-recorded tutorials, oh, and also you can also, as a Friday, start ordering the cookie cutters. If you want physical cookie cutters, Allison is doing those for me. They'll start shipping on the 15th, but you can start ordering them on the 10th. Um, or you can get the STL files right away and start printing them yourself, whatever you want to do. All of that will be available on the 10th. But the class videos, all of the videos from prep on down to the individual cookies will drop into the group on the 24th of March. Okay. All pre-recorded, but we want everybody to have their supply list, have time to get their cutters. And if you operate quickly, uh, you'll have all your stuff in time. So you can all start the class at the same time on the 24th. You'll have access to it as long as there's Facebook. And I wanted to mention when we circle back to the things that we were going to improve in 2023 before I had family emergency, um, we will be circling back to setting up a library where you have access on my website with passwords to the specific classes that you purchased and paid for this, everything we do this year, we're going to try to move over to that. And then we'll work a little bit at a time going backwards on the things that were done previously. I just, there were so many classes last year. I don't know if I can do that for last year, but we're definitely going to try to get everything this year done that way. All right. So I think that handles it. And the new class, did I tell you the name? Get ready to sing it. Oh, honey, honey. Do you know what that song is? Oh, sugar, sugar. So, so it's going to be Oh, honey, honey. And um, it is a coordinating class that you can put the cookies shadow box or keep them or display them, whatever, along with the class that we did for the advanced B box. So if you got that advanced B box, you have a lot of supplies you already need for this class. You'll just need cutters or you can hand cut. I'll be providing templates, but all of that's going to release on the 10th. The sale of the class, admission to the group will start immediately. You can get your supply list. You can get your stuff ordered. The videos will drop into the class on the 24th of March, okay? So that's the next thing we have coming up. And then the following weekend after the 24th, on April 1st, I'll be live during Cookieathon doing the B Scap, and then I promise I'm going to move on to something different for you guys. Um, also, on the 15th of this month, we will be releasing next quarter's gnome and floral cutters. There will be four again, it'll be at the same price as the first set of four released at. Um, so you'll have one gnome cutter for April, one for May, one for June, and then one floral cutter that we'll use that will be for all three months. Okay. And that's going to drop uh, where you can start purchasing those on the 15th and those will start shipping right away too. Okay. And they are boxed separately. So the shipping is tied to the box because they're going to go out separate like that. I hope that makes sense. Oh, I think that's everything. Anybody have any questions? Let me get rid of this calendar. I love this little pink mouse when it works. Yes, there we go. It woke up again. I'm not used to having a mouse. <laughs> Um, let's see if we're good. Let's see. What is that? I, I know <laughs> I aged myself too, but I like the tune and I used to play it in my first shop that we sold candy in, in Louisiana, where we made our own pralines and fudge and baked goods and stuff. So that was really fun, really fun. And, and I, 
all the time. It's stuck in my head. It's easy tune to get stuck in your head. And it's fun to sing when you're baking or when you're becoming part of team no sleep and it's like 2 a.m. and you just need to rev up. It's a good song. <laughs> all right. So everybody is good with their gnome cookies and they're getting those turned in, right? All right. That intermediate class, don't forget there were four of you that won from four different things that have been stacking up that won admission to that class for free. So if you were one of those four people, do not pay for that class when it comes out. I'll just be inviting you into the group. Okay. So if you are here and you are one of those four people, can you just comment over on the right hand side? Just want to make sure that you know that. All right. So guys, this is a mold that came from the clay section at Michael's. You may want to pick this up because we're going to use it on several cookies over the summer. But I just wanted to show you how easy this was, okay? Um, totally stuck in your head. Is that Mary Jean? <laughs> um, Debbie, you won one of the things, didn't you? And I'm pretty sure Myra's on here. Myra won one of the things. And Kelly, Kelly Clements, if you're on here, didn't you win one of the things? Uh, let's see what this says. Honey, honey song. <laughs> So I promise I'll move on from the bees after this, but you guys know I have just been really digging the bee vibe for this spring. Um, uh, so yeah, I think it's Debbie, Myra, Kelly, and who was the other one? Do you guys remember? There, were, I know there was four of you because we had things stacked up from previous um, classes. All right. So I want to show you how easy this mold is to use. It's just so cute. I got, I had to dig it out because I was working on something else that involves a beach theme. And so I dug it out because I remembered I had a mold that had surfboards on it, but these are way too small for what we're going to be doing, but they will be really cute. Um, they will be really cute on another cookie that I'm going to teach on two tutorial Tuesday when we're doing um, that other, the other, the other thing that I was working on. All right. So uh, again, really, really flexible mold. They just pop right out. Highly, highly detailed. So I'm going to make a few pieces for this this morning. I also wanted to tell you, I don't think it's back in stock yet. I don't think the moldable royal icing is back in stock yet with May, but definitely grab some of that because you're going to want some of that for the summer because we're going to use it to do some molding, not just mold like this, but some specialty molding and also some sculpting. So you're going to want to grab some of those, uh, some bags of that when it becomes available again. So you guys just keep up with May, May the sugar lady. It's my Tay is how you say her full name, but she lets me call her May. I think she just likes my accent. So she lets me do whatever I want to do. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, also guys, while we're sitting here and I'm just working these and you see what I'm doing, just wanted you to see, I'm just pushing directly down into the mold to catch the detail. And then I'm pushing the fondant out into all these outer areas so that it goes over. But I, I personally am not real great with slicing on the mat or this fondant is too elastic to slice to. So I push it to where it's in all the crevices. And then I just take my gloved hand and work it back to make sure I have nice clean edges around the item so that I don't have to trim it with scissors. And I want a nice flat back on it. So I want to make sure I don't have too much fondant in there. And then I just flip it over. Hey, Myra, are you here? Are you still on the live stream with me? All right. Isn't that cute? Look at that. Now, here's something really cute about this mold. Since we've been practicing with isomalt, and I'm sure everybody probably ordered some. And if you did, I hope you ordered clear. But molds like this that have a recessed area, this is supposed to be a sunshine. Myra, you won one of the free admission to the intermediate classes too, I think, right? It was you, Debbie, Kelly Clements. And who was the other? Was the other person Miss Pamela? She won't be here right now, though, because she has Bible study on Tuesdays, but it might have been Miss Pamela. I just want to make sure I get all of that set just right. Anyway, about this, guy, See how that little recessed area is there? Okay, so this is so cute. If you want to um, say you want to paint the entire thing, you can use the gel colors or you can do dry dusting. But we've been working with isomalt. It was Pamela. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. Um, I just have so many things going on that I feel like I'm already 
memory, memory. I just, I have to write everything down these days. I have 10 lists going and a list about my lists. You know what I mean? Just to make sure I don't miss something important because we're juggling a bunch of stuff right now. Um, anyway, since we have the ice mall, this is super cute on when something is recessed like that. If you want to put a little edible image in there and then cover it with ice mall, or maybe you want to make it raised, like you can put a candy in the center, one of those like um, sugar candy circles in the center to make a raised sun and like the rays coming out the side. So when you're looking at molds and you see something like that, where it looks like, oh, that's, I can't use that. This actually allows you more creativity with the fondant or the modeling chocolate or the moldable royal icing piece, because this is recessed. So I can set a picture under there and then isomalt over the top. So it looks like a picture frame, like just to the top of that groove. Or I could put in a rounded candy button so I can get a dimensional sunshine on this. Just so cute. The other thing I really love about these molds is they're the perfect size that if you want to make a cookie Christmas tree, like say something um, maybe 12 inches or taller, these molds, everything except this pineapple, everything that's on here would make really cute ornaments on that mold. I mean, on the cookie Christmas tree, if you wanted to make one of those trees that like locks together like this, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Where it's two pieces, it locks together and then the tree stands up. Um, these are perfect size for little ornaments. Um, they would be perfect size for little cookie ornaments too. It doesn't have to just be fondant or modeling chocolate. You could do your cookie dough in here. Look at that wave. This is also good. This particular one for like um, blowing, like if it's, you know, in March. And you want to do something where the winds are really strong and represent wind blowing. This is beautiful. You can make like the, um, the sun blowing. You can use that as the spout for the water coming out on a whale cookie or something like that. And they have it going both directions. So you can also use it for finished work, like on a little gingerbread house or something. But I wanted you to see this mold um, because it's out right now, like these molds, when they come out, it's Michael's and it was in the clay area. So if you're not adding heat to it, you're fine to use it for this. You just don't want to bake in it because it's not, um, it's not something you want to heat up and you don't want gases releasing from the mold. It is a silicone mold, um, but you don't want to heat in this one, but look at that flower. Isn't that cute? Okay. So to grab this one is because we are going to use it on a bunch of different cookies, I think, over the summertime because it's just so stinking cute. And it's got this little toucan up here. I made him last night and he was adorable. Oh, tonight. I need to tell you one more thing. Not tonight. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, totally separate video. We're going to go over the menu for Bless. Almost finalized for Cookie Con for adding to that. And then I want to immediately start um, the form will be posted in the cookie snack attack group. You're going to grab that form. You want to fill it out and it's going to have the instructions. You're going to friends and family PayPal me your total. As soon as I have your money, your spot is guaranteed. Okay. Um, it does not, well, this one in particular, Sydney did not say it was food safe. So what happens when you heat these molds up? It depends on what kind of silicone is used, what, what's in it or whatnot. Um, some of them are food safe, so you can bake cookie dough right in them. This one does not specifically say it's food safe. So that's why I'm saying don't buy this with the intention of baking in it. You'd have to put your dough in it, chill it, pop it out, and then bake your dough. Um, because you don't ever want to bake in any kind of silicone mold that doesn't specifically say food safe because it could have other stuff in it that gets released when it heats up. It doesn't matter when it's cold like this. It's kind of like stencils. The material for making stencils, um, that it matters if you heat that stuff up. Well, we never heat up a stencil. It's like for airbrushing and stuff, right? So it's always cool. All right, look at him. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. Look, look at all that detail that you can sit and paint with the little detail brushes. Isn't that neat? I just won't melt the fondant. No, if the fondant is hard, no, it won't melt it. And, and let me rephrase that. If the isomalt is a Wilton, 
I'm going to say Wilton because that's the one I use all the time with it or satin ice and it's hardened and you put the ice amount on it. It does not melt. I've tested that. I can't speak to the others. Okay. You guys know I like to mad scientist test everything and homemade fondant like marshmallow fondant. You're going to have to test that because I don't make that anymore. Um, so I have not tested isomalt on that. And fresh fondant, it'll let the color come out of fresh fondant if you put isomalt on it when it's not dry. Or if you dry dust it and pour the isomalt like in that little sunshine if you wanted to do that. Isn't that cute? Um, the, it's going to release and make the dry dust like watercolory. So you have to play with it and experiment and figure out what you actually want to make with it. Right. But gel coloring, the color doesn't even bleed. I can just put um, ice. I could cover that whole sun in ice malt and it would just like encase it. It wouldn't do anything to it. All right. So tonight to tutorial Tuesday, part two, we're going to do some dry dusting on this so that we can go over some colors that you might want to do a bit of gel painting. We'll see. I'm going to make just, this, I want to make this pineapple too. So you can see it tonight. Hello. Hello. Um, Nicole, how are you? I hope you're doing well. So tonight, tune in for the second part of two tutorial Tuesday. I don't know what we're doing tonight just yet because I have a couple things on the tray here. So we'll see how far along we get on those things. I'll go over the dates again for both the Oh Honey Honey class that's pre recorded that's going to be releasing and dates on that. I'll go over again tonight um, the Gnome when the cutters for next quarter's Gnome classes are releasing. If you're in that group, it's not too late to purchase that. If you're not in the group, it's not too late to purchase it. If you are in the group, you're going to want the date so you can get your next quarter cutters. Quarters. Cutter. <laughs> Second quarter cutters. How's that? We'll get really specific here. Um, so and tonight we'll be doing some work with this. Okay. And something else that's on there. Um, I'm not going to show the co cookies tonight. Okay. I'll show them when the class releases Friday because I want it in a separate video. Uh, I'm still coughing, Nicole. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better soon. So tonight I'm not going to show the cookies for the Oh Honey Honey class. I'll be showing that when that class goes up for sale on Friday. I'll do a totally separate video for that, an announcement video. And um, I know it's so pretty, right? The leaf, so pretty. The detail's great on these. I just want you to see the level of detail because these with the moldable royal icing, um, and I might do that tonight. I might mix some of that up and, and make some more with the multiple royal icing, but that way you can make them way ahead of time, but they are um, very detailed and you can make them way ahead of time. And we're going to talk about doing gel painting over them with some metallic maybe tonight and a little bit of dry dusting on different ones to show you the difference. So you can start planning for your Easter and spring and summer projects. So tonight we'll go over that. And then Wednesday night, in seven o'clock and we're going to go over the Belux menu and the form will be posted in the group. Okay. And you'll print that out. You'll fill it out. And then you guys are going to have all the information in that document to be able to PayPal me through friends and family for your meal. Just know that all of that, once it's set up, can't be changed. It's non-refundable. You can pass it on to another person if you just not but you can't change anything on it once I receive it and you've paid because as soon as I get it, it's going to them and they will be making it. Okay. I mean, they'll get all the stuff ordered for our group and we're going to be going up to, um, if you're participating in the gift exchange that night, we're going to plan to go up to 61 because the maximum, I did verify this again, the maximum number of people we can have in the room is 60. So we'd like everybody to participate in the gift exchange. If you can't or don't want to, let me know so I can start telling people they don't have to make that many of whatever item they're doing. Um, you are going to participate. That extra one is so we can put a gift basket together. I don't know what I did with my Ziploc, so I'm going to use an icing bag to put this in so it doesn't get crusty. Uh, we're going to use that extra one. The 61st gift item is going to be a gift basket to go to Mike and Karen 
to thank them for all the hard work they do at Cookie Con. And also, I want this is what I started to tell you a minute ago, and then I lost my train of thought, which is not uncommon around here. It's, but it wasn't uncommon before, and it might be worse now. <laughs> all right. So, Jennifer Mosier will be with us next Tuesday night. And she is going to be doing cocoa butter painting on some florals. You're not going to want to miss that. First of all, the florals are fabulous. The segments of how she has the cookie broken up to get the dimension is fabulous. And we love Jen. We want to support her and everything that she's doing. And uh, the cocoa butter is just super interesting. So if you're interested in learning about cocoa butter painting, why would I want to know that, Amy? Well, maybe you want to have a kid's class for the ones that want to paint on cookies but don't like doing the icing. That way you can attract a whole nother crowd of customers. You could do it for adults too. But let's just say kids, just for the sake of argument. Maybe you can build that as, okay, you want to create edible art come paint with me. And then instead of having a PYO, you have this cookie that's pre-iced in different segments. And then you teach them step-by-step step how to paint it and how to blend, how to blend the different shades. Like Jen breaks this down so easy that you could teach this. So it's just another thing for your cookie toolbox to where you could use it and um, reach more people with your edible cookie art. Just an idea. Okay, so I just like the idea of doing PYOs when they have to go to schools because they're already made up. But when I have a class, something like this and teaching kids art skills and how to blend and about shadowing and foreground and background, it's just really fun. So I would totally, um, totally, totally make sure you're here next Tuesday night for that. I'm going to date... Yes. It, yes. Her class was great. Really great. So, and if you need an elective, I think she still has a few spots open. So jump on there and do that. I haven't checked mine to see if anything is opened up, but mine was full. But if something opened up and you guys want to jump in on a class with me, I'd love it for you to do that. And I know I still have spaces in Ohio cookie con. Um, not a lot in the 8 AM class, the is it eight or 10 AM class. There's not a lot in that class where we're doing be the sparkle there's more spaces open in the 4 to 8 p.m. class, which is XOXO. So if you need a class and you're looking for one that's reasonably priced, I'm your gal. We'll learn a ton of techniques. Everything's all explained on the website. So check that out. Let me know if you would like to do that. Hey, Becky. So we did say we were really ecstatic that Two of you have already turned in your Easter collaboration. So Julie beat you by one day, but Julie and Becky have both turned in their pieces. They're phenomenal. If you're in the collaboration group, which is a closed group, because they can't show you their pieces until we do the final collaboration release. Um, so if you're in the group, you get a sneak peek. If you were in there and it's um, private groups, you have to go to albums and super excited. The pieces are beautiful. And what I liked most about Julie and Becky's pieces with was that if you know Julie and Becky, then you know, as soon as you see their cookie, they embraced something that they really love. So it was like, I don't want to say it was, if, if it was in like a thousand cookies, if I'd have known they were specifically their cookies, but if it was in a thousand, I would have said of my group, if someone made these cookies, Julie would have made that one. And Becky would have made that one. Like it's just at people get different art styles over the years. Right. So, um, yay. I'm so excited. April, April, thank you for inviting your friends. The first few that <clears throat> responded. I added them to the group that filled out our number and then I closed it down. So we are all set. Next time, I promise you I'll open more spots and everybody can invite a bunch of people before we close the group down. Um, because I think I found a way to take the photos to do our slideshow at the beginning. So I have something really specific in mind for potentially 4th of July. Um, but we're going to do it earlier so we can use it for the whole month before, like the whole month of June. So I'm working on that a whole bunch. So we'll let any everybody in that wants to be in there because then I think I can turn it into the three minute countdown timer and everybody's artwork will get exposed in one place, right? All at one time. All right. So I think that's it. Anybody else want to talk about anything else? All minds clear, all hearts good. 
send prayers my way. We got a lot of decisions we're making over the next couple of weeks. They seem to be shaking out really good. Um, I'm excited to get back to the growth things we were going to do for the group. Anybody? No questions? All right. Well, listen, I'm going to see you tonight at seven o'clock. Tonight, we're going to do the second part of two tutorial Tuesday, but tomorrow night, which is Wednesday, 7 p.m., tune in if you're going to be at CookieCon Ohio, because at CookieCon Ohio, we're having a mixer for just the Cookie Snack Attack group. We can hold up to 60 people in this room, and tomorrow night starts our sign up, okay? All right, we'll catch up with you tonight. Thank you for being here, and don't you love that I can end this broadcast without you seeing my arm? Look at this. Because... I bought this cute little pink mouse. All right. I'll see you guys tonight. I hope you have a fabulous afternoon.